feel that I was thinking that this is Muhammad the junior, what about Muhammad the senior? Allah, uh, Allah. Yeah. So Imam Shafi Rahmatullahi Ali, he is one of the four Imams. He was like, it goes like this. Imam Abu Hanifa was the teacher of Imam Malik, and Imam Malik was the teacher of Imam Shafi. Imam Shafi was the teacher of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. And Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was the teacher of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. So that you can call it a golden chain, or Silsilat al-Zahar. So this Imam al-Shafi, he studied first in Mecca, because when he was a small baby, his father passed away. Originally, he was from Palestine. So his mother was from Mecca, she brought him to Mecca, and he studied there with the Mashaykh of Mecca. And then he was hearing about Imam Malik, the Imam of Medina. So he told his Mashaykh, I want to go to Imam Malik. So they say, have you studied his Muwatta? Muwatta is a famous book written by Imam Malik Rahmatullahi Alayhi in Hadith. So he said yes. So then he went there. It is said that his age at that time was 16, 17. When he arrived and he met Imam Malik, so he said that, Sheikh, I am from Mecca, originally from Palestine, but studied in Mecca, and I am here. So he was thinking that a small kid, he came now, and he is a newcomer. So he said, okay, I will hand you over to another alim, so he will give you a dars of Muatta, and then you will come to me. And he said, about your Muatta? He said, yes. He said, I memorized it. He said, okay. So this Bab or this chapter. So he started relating the hadith, relating the hadith, relating the hadith. So Imam Malik made a joke. You have to teach me now my own book. <laughs> so anyhow, this was a great Imam. He studied with him when Imam Malik passed away. So then he went all the way to Baghdad to study Imam Muhammad ibn Hassan I was referring to. Imam Muhammad ibn Hassan al-Shaybani, rahmatullahi alayhi. And when Imam Muhammad rahmatullahi alayhi passed away, so he came all the way here to Muslim. So here, as our brother, he mentioned and indicated to a grave deer, I don't eat deer, that is of Sayyidah Nafisa. Sayyidah Nafisa, we can call her the treasurer of the ulum and knowledge of Ahlul Bayt. She was a very great sheikha. Imam Shafi Ramatullah was studying with uh, Sayyidah Nafisa. When he was passing away, so he made a will that as the sisters cannot come for Janaza, so when you are taking my dead body to my grave, so take me through the house of my teacher Sayyidah Nafisa. So to make the long story short, Imam Malik came here to study with Imam Lais ibn Sa'ad. Imam Lais ibn Sa'ad was the student of Imam Malik and a well-known name, a very rich man because he was doing tijara and he was doing zara, agriculture and business both. Imam Malik once in Dars he said that uh, Imam Lais ibn Sa'ad is a ajib man. He is earning hundreds of thousands of dinar, not dirham. Dinar was made of gold. Dinars from his agriculture, for example, 100,000 dinars he is getting from his agriculture and so many thousand <coughs> from his tijara and business, but he is not paying zakat. So Imam Shafi said that uh, we got a man, such a great Imam, he is not paying zakat, which is Fariza, and that is for us. So then Imam Malik, he noticed that what I, we are thinking. So he said that, brother, to tell you the truth, when he receives the money, he does not keep it for, more, for one year. He is spending it and giving it to the ulama and to the fuqara and to the poor people. So how he will pay zakat? So that's why he's not paying. So he came here to study with him, but unfortunately, when he arrived three or four days before Imam Bless Ibn Sa'ad was passed away. So then he <coughs> went to his son that, can I consult his writings and his work? He said, of course. So he studied the books of Imam Blais ibn Sa'ad, and then he passed away here. So our brother was telling us that, who built up this maqbara? Uh, Kamil, uh, al al Sultan Kamil. Sultan al Kamil, he built up uh, this. After uh, Salahuddin al Ayyubi. Yes, after Salahuddin al Ayyubi. So he built up his maqbara, and later on, this beautiful masjid is built up here. Uh, the 18th century, by Tawfiq. Inshallah. So just say one time Surah Al-Fatiha and three times Surah Al-Hulad and we will send the sawab of that to Imam Shafi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his darajat.
الله ارفع درجاتي في بحوث الجنات